this is a question from CSI net 2023 and the problem says that let let V be a finite dimensional real vector space T1 T2 be two nilpotent operators on V nilpotent means T1 to the power some k is equal to zero let W1 V belongs to V T1 V simply means W1 is the null space of T1 and similarly W2 is null space of T2 then which of the following statement is false okay just keep this in mind we need to check false this is a very common silly mistake if T1 and U2 are similar then W and W2 are isomorphic vector space and W1 and W2 are isomorphic vector spaces then T1 and T2 have same minimal polynomial if W and W2 is equal to V, then T1 and T2 are similar. If W and W2 are isomorphic, then T1 and T2 have the same characteristic polynomial. <coughs> if W and W2 is equal to V, then T1 and T2 are similar. If W and W2 are isomorphic, then T1 and T2 have the same characteristic polynomial. Okay, first need first we will check the first. If T1 and T2 are similar, T1 is similar to T2. Then we know that rank of T1 is equal to rank of T2. Similar matters have same rank, so nullity, nulls, nullity of T1 is equal to nullity of T2. We need to check if W and W2 are isomorphic vector space. That is is our question is is null space of t1 and null space of t2 are isomorphic or not in finite dimension the key idea is that in finite dimension finite dimension spaces if two spaces have same dimension two subspaces you can say that two subspaces of a vector space have the same dimension then they are isomorphic So all we need to check is the dimension of the null space of T1 and the dimension of T2 are same or not as their nullity and same so their dimension is same so this is true the statement is true because W and W2 has same dimension as null space of T1 and T2 have same dimension because T1 is similar to T2 so this is true but we need to check for so this is the wrong option if W and W2 are isomorphic vector spaces, then T1 and T2 have same minimal polynomial. Is this true or not? So the second option is if W1 is isomorphic to W2, then T1 and T2, then let me write. then is minimal polynomial of t1 is equal to minimal polynomial of t2 or not to show this option we will use jordan canonical form uh, just see the spelling jordan canonical form it is a very very important concept you must you must have command on this it is very very important to have command on this very very important so we will just I will just give you an example for the case let consider uh, okay 0 0 0 0 0 we are in five dimension let here be one let uh, yeah this is one Jordan block and let this is be one another Jordan block that's it and now consider 0 0 0 0 0 
when okay uh, w1 is isomorphic to w2 uh, no we will do this Just wait a second, I will tell you what I'm doing. 3, 4, 5. Let it be. This is a Jordan block. And let these be two Jordan blocks. Okay, so I think you are aware of the Jordan blocks. These are Jordan blocks. And the, the rest of the places where nothing is written, they are all zeros. Okay. So I will take this be the matrix representation of T1. This is the matrix representation of T2. And the number of Jordan blocks is equal to equal to number of eigenvector eigenvector corresponding to that vector. To that eigenvalue. Since we the T1, T2, T1 and T2 are all uh, nilpotent, so only eigenvalue is zero. So it has three blocks. So it has three eigenvectors, and it also has three eigenvectors corresponding to zero. So nullity of T1 is equal to nullity of nullity of T1 is equal to nullity of T2. Thus this condition is satisfied. W1 is W2 are isomorphic because they have same dimension. Remember W1 is the null space of T1 and W2 W2 was the null nullity of T2. So we have satisfied this condition, but question is, is there minimal, minimal problem of these two are same? Answer is no. As from the Jordan polynomial form, the biggest, the minimal polynomial, the biggest block size of the block is, is from the power of the highest power corresponding to that in, to that eigenvalue in the minimal polynomial. So for this, we have t23 is equal to 0. This is the minimum polynomial. For this, as the highest size of the block is 2, we have t1 square is equal to 0. This is the minimum polynomial. The minimum polynomial are not same, but their nullity is same because there are three number of blocks. Number of blocks are same, but the size of the largest block is different. Thus, they cannot, their minimum polynomial is different. So, this is not true. This is a false statement. But accordingly, we need a false statement, so this is correct. Now, if W1 is equal to W2 is equal to B, then T1 and T2 are similar. W1 is equal to W2 is equal to V, whole V, null space or whole V, every vector is given 0. So, T1 is equal to 0, T2 is equal to 0. right yes it is it is giving zero for all vectors so it must be the zero must be the zero matrix so t1 is equal to 0 thus similar this is true but we don't need it this is false if w1 and w2 are isomorphic then t1 and t2 have the same characteristic polynomial if w and w oh, just see that t1 t2 both are nil potent greater in a finite dimension space nil potent means nil potent nil potent implies all eigenvalues are zero so what can be its characteristic polynomial 
t to the power n is equal to 0. So t1 to the power is equal to 0, t2 to the power is 0. Two nilpotent matrices have same characteristic polynomial. Same characteristic polynomial. It doesn't matter if w1 and w2 is isomorphic or not. We don't need it. They are always have same characteristic. So this is also wrong. Only second is true. 